Hi, welcome to today's Daily Catch devotional. I kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, Christians that we see that don't seem to be acting like Christians. Have you ever heard of a fleshly Christian or a carnal Christian? Do, do you even know what that is? When Paul was writing to the Corinthians in chapter 3, verse 1, he says this, For my part, brothers and sisters, I was not able to speak to you as spiritual people, but as people of the flesh, as babies in Christ. So generally speaking, to be carnal means to be dominated by the flesh. All unbelievers are carnal. They really don't have a choice since they've don't believe in Jesus. They don't have the Holy Spirit living in them. The flesh is all they've got. You need to be in the Spirit to be spiritual. By having the indwelling Holy Spirit, living doesn't guarantee the flesh will not dominate you. This uh, theologian named Evan Hopkins had some things to say about that. He said, A carnal man may be one who has been born of the Spirit, but is not sufficiently actuated by his enlightening and sanctifying power to overcome the hostile power of the flesh. He still thinks, feels, judges, and acts according to the flesh. I know that's a mouthful, but it does say a lot about what we see in a lot of people that just don't take the time to really build their relationship with Christ and to uh, grow spiritually, to be a disciple. When you believe in Jesus and are born again, a conflict happens between your flesh and your spirit. Believers then have two possibilities, to be fleshly or to be spiritual. You want to be spiritual, but you might not be. As Hopkins goes on to explain, here are two different reasons why a Christian can be carnal. The condition described as carnal may be either the immature stage of the young convert or a state of relapse into which more advanced believer has fallen. So what he's really saying here is that carnality could be due to immaturity, but it could also be due to backsliding. Every reason carries a different level of culpability. So he goes on to say this, To the first, no blame can be attached, for all must pass through this stage in their progress from the natural to the spiritual. But to the second, condemnation does belong, as we see from the way in which the apostle wrote to the Corinthian believers, I could not speak to you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal even as babes in Christ. So taking those things in reverse order, if your carnality is due to a conscious rebellion, then you're culpable or responsible for your state. And you should repent of whatever sin you're mired in, confess it to God, accept his forgiveness, and return to your first love. But if you're carnal due to immaturity, recognize that it takes time to grow. Meditate on God's word. Listen to the faith-building preaching that extols God's grace and is grounded in Scripture. Occupy your mind with Christ and live every moment in faith by Him. Becoming a functioning member of the Christian community. Do that and you will mature from flesh to spiritual. And we need to keep that in mind when we're looking at our brothers and sisters that don't appear like they're doing the spiritual thing. Uh, and some people kind of act like they're doing the spiritual thing, but they're really not. In conclusion, babies are cute for a time, but not forever. Thanks for joining.